I look at a film as an audience would. I respond, I feel it sincerely, I write it down. And what I write down is an expression of my feelings in musical terms. Hi my friends and welcome back to our another entertainment video, today we're going to talk about the amazing musical score that seemed to elevate Picard season 3 to even newer heights, for Picard this is such an important moment for the series. Because to me it feels like it's a return to form, back to the standard that is indicative to Star Trek lineage of the greatest science fiction franchise. I can't stress enough how important a great musical score is to the fantasy science fiction visual media. Star Wars is an exemplary example of how music takes on the characteristics of a character even before that individual is seen. In Star Trek case it is paramount, no pun intended. Jerry Goldsmith the American composer and conductor known for his work in film and television scoring. He composed scores for five films in the Star Trek franchise. He knew that music was the key component to the immersive experience, he said if our music survives, which I have no doubt it will, then it will be because it was good. But think it is James Horner one of my favorite composers who scored Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, he truly understood the power Star Trek music in relations to the audience immersive experience. In this film, it would have been easy for the filmmakers to use a lot of songs, but they've chosen to use score. I think audiences are more sophisticated than filmmakers think. Even kids can be a classical score. People do respond to that kind of thing. John Barry, the famous British composer and conductor of film music, said the music should play a lot bigger than it is. In Picard season 3 they seem to have embraced this sentiment once again, because it is seen in every detail this season, from the opening credits to closing, in the moments when Riker and Picard enter into the star base and see the lunar class starship. For the first time, the ceremonial theme plays immersing the audience in a cathedral-like ceremony. Terry Madalas has said this season will pay tribute to the work of late composer Jerry Goldsmith with a score from new composer Stephen Barton. To me this is awesome to hear because you have to respect the past to move towards the future. In conclusion throughout Star Trek history it had music that reached out and touched the soul and the imagination of so many but to be perfectly honest in recent years Star Trek has been boldly going where most fans didn't want to go but the winds have changed the ship seems to have gotten back on course. Plus the imaginary music that was synonymous with Star Trek seems to have made its way back into the series and that's pretty darn cool. Let me know what you think below guys and thank you.